Welcome back. If you're new here, my lighting's usually not this bad. It's just I have a lot of stuff going on in my studio right now, including getting some lighting things reworked. And I was thinking that it's been about a year since I've done a studio tour, if you want to call it that. It's really just a family room in the downstairs of our basement. And I wanted to kind of take you on a tour of what it looks like right now because things are about to change in a major way because I've been stocking up on some things to do some stuff down here. How specific is that? But really, I just want to make this video just to kind of take you on a tour of what it looks like in its current state so I can show you then in the future what it looks like once I make all these changes. I should also mention to people that are new on this channel but you watch a lot of Lego videos, this content is going to be startling to you because it's actually someone in front of a camera, their face is on video, and it's a more personable thing than seeing some hands on a white board making a Lego review or watching a speed build with some generic music on it. This is a real channel where I share my Lego experience and I'm happy to have you along. Welcome to actually watching a Lego vlog versus just some generic garbage that you could watch pretty much anywhere. Rant over. Sorry to go off like that, but I watched a video last night that kind of got me fired up on that subject, so I had to get it out of my system. Hope you understand. But we are in the main part of my studio here. It's kind of this, and then this back here, and then I'm just going to flip the camera around so you can see things a little better and you don't have my ugly mug in there. This is the living room area. It's, again, it's just a family room. This is the main part of it. That's a workout area over there, which I, you know, you're not interested in that. This is my sitting area. <laughs> my sitting area here. Got a couch, this is two recliners. Again, this is stuff you're not interested in if you're watching this for Lego. This is my gaming center here. Also have a gaming center upstairs too. It has my PlayStation 4, this is Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, again, not what you're looking into. Do have some Lego stuff over here. Lego stuff that I just couldn't bring myself to tear apart. I do typically tear apart everything I build and put it back in the box to keep it stored over there. You guys are used to seeing this shot like right here, more or less, but now you're gonna see the whole thing. Got the Spider-Man bridge battle. I couldn't tear that apart. It's just gonna be so long to put together. One thing I am trying to figure out is, how do you guys keep dust off your stuff? I think I have a solution for that. I actually picked it up yesterday. Got myself a four pack of duster. We're gonna see if this stuff works. Maybe I'll do a video on it, blasting this stuff. Also have the Volkswagen Beetle built and then my knockoff Lego gun. I thought that was kind of cool just on display there. So that's the only things that I have built right now. And with that, I think we're pretty much done with the non-Lego section of the room. I do a little spin around here. This is the door where we come downstairs. That's a little storage area there, like a closet that goes under the stairs. But the main section that you're worried about is over here. And again, you already saw this. The camera seems to hate me. It doesn't like to focus very fast, but there's all my Lego collection. You've seen that plenty of times. There's Mason's Lego treasure chest. Got my other Lego collection that you saw me clean down below there. This is all the new stuff that I got recently that I need to find a place for. I'm thinking we might be adding number three over here. And if I step back, you'll see just how perfect that could work. It's inevitable. It's just a matter of time. It's going to happen. Before we talk about all this stuff that's on the ground here that I picked up yesterday, I'm going to give you the rest of the tour. This is where I edit my videos at. Small little desk. This is about to change because of that. But again, we'll get over that when we can. This is the microphone I use to do the voiceovers. MacBook Pro, I believe it is. Just kind of my setup. The, if you're wondering what's in this plastic bag back here, these are the lights that I'm using right now. I decided to switch this room to daylight bulbs because I really hate the yellow look that a lot of bulbs give off if you don't use daylight. And these ones up here are LED, which I really love. These ones that are in here, here, I got like a four pack over there in those two walls. Those are CFL bulbs and they give off this buzz that really bothers me. See if you can hear it. Yeah, I really am that picky. So in this box here are four LED bulbs that I'm gonna replace those with and see if I like those better. Just got those from Amazon. Again, I'm gonna show this to you, but we gotta finish the tour. Over here, this is where I do my filming. You're probably used to seeing this angle like this. This is where I do my builds at oftentimes, which is gonna change as well because of what I have over there. Again, we're not talking about that. This thing over here, you may be wondering, what's that contraption that you have over that? Let me grab my GoPro here and I'll show you. I take this GoPro and I put it on here like that, just attach that in there, and that faces down. And then you can see what I'm building here, which is my last build that I did, was this one. I'm sure you saw that video. If not, link it up here. Over here, this is kind of just a mess. This down here is a Hope chest. That's full of family photos and all kinds of stuff. This is a great place to put it because it stays a very comfortable temperature down here. No humidity, and that's just a place to keep things safe. I don't really like the look of that because if you can tell, my accent down here is mainly black, except for that desk, which again, we're going to be talking about. I think I'm going to get some type of black fabric to cover that. Inside here, this is all of my GoPro accessories and stuff. I've got a ton of stuff in there like crazy. 
This is my $5 Bionicle bin, which you've seen in a couple videos. These are some sets that I got at yard sales and stuff that I need to give to Clark Man. These are my Lego sets from when I was a kid, and you might be interested in this. So why don't we actually get some proper lighting here? These are the lighting kits that I use, which I'm, I'm gonna be buying two more of these. Isn't that better? You guys wanna go back in time with me? Oh, some stuff in here built from when I was a kid. Like this might be from 96 or so, I would have been 12 years old. I don't usually, I don't really do much with these because I wanna just kinda keep them as they are. And I'm so busy with new sets that I don't really have the time. I took a great amount of time to just separate things out. Like these are all plates in here, bigger plates. I was always organized as a kid. Down here, got the basics. Built this on my channel years ago. That's how rare I get into this. So happy, happy Veterans Day, Flag Day, everything to everybody. Technic stuff is in here. I have plans for doing something with this. I really, it, it just needs work. So we're not even gonna talk about that. This I got at a yard sale. This is kind of messed up. These guys, I have plans for these. You'll see what's going on there. Up here, I have like to put these decals on this and then I'm gonna package that up. The windowsill up here, giant mess. I lied, I do have another thing built. I've got that bicycle built. Again, I don't have any boxes for these Chinese knockoff sets, so they kind of just sit there. There's my view from outside, kind of dreary, and now that winter's about to hit, all my flowers are dead out there. Um, just some bags of stuff. These are the bags for the BrickTech logo. Again, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for these things because I don't need those and I think it'd be fun to give away to people. This is a giant mess, some iPads that I plan to sell. I got this classic set. I want to do a tutorial out of that, which is coming up. I actually had a person request a tutorial and it's in there. It's already built, so got to do that. And I think I showed you everything else that's there. Got a GoPro attachment on the floor. I got to bag this set up. Why don't we just move this light like this so you can actually see me. How's that lighting working out? Is that a little better? Probably not. Let's move that down. So I consider this area all the way behind me, leading over there to the TV and then back through here, the Brickitech Studio, which again is going to go under massive changes because of what I bought yesterday. I got, at Sam's Club, I got two of these six foot by 30 inch tables. These are lifetime brand, really heavy duty, commercial grade. They're heavy. And my plan for these is to replace this table, which I bought a while ago on Amazon. I think I bought it like when I started this channel and take a look at the flex on that. Can you see that? It's, it's pretty rickety, pretty terrible, but I kind of wanted to have a table over here where maybe I could like watch TV while I build or just kind of have something here that I can move around a good bit. So I'm scrapping that idea entirely. Once I get these things on a shelf, I'm actually gonna get rid of this desk because it's so small. In fact, if I, sit here i can show you just how how tight things are there's my legs i bet you've never seen the legs of any lego youtuber that's making videos again another first my friends so what i'm going to do is take one of these tables i actually have two of them here one and two i'm going to put one table here they're six feet long so it's going to start kind of where that heat vent is and go down to there and then i'm going to get two more lighting kits like what you see here and i'm just going to kind of place them there because i do my haul videos here I'm gonna do my build videos here. So this table is gonna be eliminated as well. I'm gonna move this on top of that so I can do my builds there and also my editing and everything in one spot. And then the second table, which again, I have two of these. The second table is gonna go right in the center here, kind of like right against this. The lights are gonna stay here. And then on this side, we're gonna basically be sitting here and this is where we're gonna do our Lego videos. Cause you know me and Clark, we do our videos up in the dining room and the missus isn't, overly thrilled about Lego stuff always being everywhere out there. So it's gonna move down here and this creates a nice little alcove. It kind of makes a really nice spot to make a real studio once I have that table in the center. This table, I was thinking about just moving back here behind the couch and kind of having a place here kind of just to collect stuff, probably just be Lego sets stacked to the ceiling. Who knows? But as you can see, I try to maintain a fairly minimalist, simple space down here. That chair needs to go. That's my wife's grams and it really doesn't go with what I'm doing down here at all, and it's just kind of in a bad spot as it is. But you know, if you want to have a seat here, you can do that. You can have a seat. You can watch TV like super up close if you want to. This is a 40 inch TCL smart TV. Got this for a sweet deal on Amazon like a year ago. I know it's probably surprising to you guys, but I love Amazon deals. Other little tidbits I got. I showed you the lights, well, the box for the lights that I'm gonna be replacing up here. Also picked up this little storage cabinet since I'm gonna be losing this. I'm gonna be replace it with this and maybe I can put some of my K2 
camera equipment in there too, which is what we saw over there. I got two of these really super cheap lights at Target. These were $8.99, and I have several of these. I've got one over there, I've got one over here, I've got one over here, and I'm gonna put these, I know we're going all over with the camera, but I'm gonna put one there and one right there to give a little bit of backlighting when we're shooting our videos here, because you're gonna have these really bright lights coming at us like this. Let's see. You're gonna have these really bright lights coming at us like this, so I wanna have something behind us because it's kind of dark over here otherwise. And last but not least, I picked up a nice black clock. Where I'm gonna put that, I don't know. Maybe like, no, I can't go there because that's where shelf number three is gonna go. Maybe, maybe up here? Let me know, what do you think? Need a good place for a clock. That's probably the least of my concerns right now. So really my big goal here is just to make this place way more functional. These two huge tables are gonna give me a lot of extra space to not only edit, but build a great place over here for me and Clark Man to do our videos together instead of going upstairs and doing it. And I can kind of just keep this place however I want it, which could be a little messy. Get these lights put in. It's gonna be a lot brighter down here. In fact, I'm probably gonna add a lot more lighting because I just like having a lot of like bright light. And that's why, again, I went to these daylight bulbs. If, if you don't know what that means, like typical lights are like very yellow. Like I'll give you an example. You see how white these lights are, including that? Let me show you, let me show you what the yellow looks like over here in this little bathroom area. There, so, so what do you think? Do you, do you prefer that or do you prefer this? I think that looks a lot better. I almost forgot the one other thing. You're probably thinking, how exactly are you gonna sit at the table? Well, I got two chairs. These are lifetime chairs. Let me take one out of the packaging here so you can see it. This video just went way unorganized. You can tell that I really prepared for this. Nice little plastic chair. Got two of those, one for me, one for Clark Man. Tried it out at the store, they're actually fairly comfortable. Paid $20 for that, so I got two tables. This is the crazy thing about these tables. Let's get the, you always gotta think about framing. You wanna have some nice stuff for people to look at because you don't wanna see me. These tables on Amazon and pretty much everywhere else are about $100 to $115. Yesterday, Sam's Club had them on sale for $40 a piece. So I got two of these for 80 bucks. Chairs that I'm sitting in, $20 each. So 120 bucks, two tables, two chairs, made out like a bandit. And I'm pretty stoked about that. I'd say with everything that I got here, I'm probably less than $200 into this and it's gonna make a big change down here, but I still got a lot to spend and a lot of stuff to do. And I'm gonna bring you along with me on that process, as long as you're willing to come along. So that is today's video. Sorry there wasn't really much Lego in it, although I could say that there was some Lego in it, but this is all the groundwork that's gonna be built up for us to make really awesome videos and a ton of stuff for you here in the future. So again, if you haven't subscribed yet and you wanna see an interesting channel and you're tired of the lame stuff that you're watching all over the place, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and as always, We'll see you in the next one.